I got these black bore implements and I'm going to set them up today. I'm probably not gonna use them today because my razor's 15 miles away. And I really, it's a little early to be planting, but probably about a month we're gonna go up to the UP again. And I'm gonna use these as well as the rototiller that I left up there. It's still there, I'm sure it's there. We're gonna do a whole bunch more work up there, try to get the deer to come in this year. You know, we had bad luck last year. I think we saw three deer total and I saw two of them. I can't remember, but it wasn't a lot. It was not a lot of deer. We're gonna be taking a bunch of fertilizer and lime and do the proper, all the soil checks and all that stuff. But for now, I'm going to get this put together. I just wanna make sure for everybody that's watching, this is not a how-to video of how to set this up. It's kind of a review though, how to set this up. How easy is this for just, you know, the regular guy it looks like it doesn't take many tools, so I'm not going to be doing a step-by-step -step in this video, so if that's what you're looking for, you know, this is not the video for you. So it starts with the implement lift. I decided to go motorized because when I'm up there, for the food plots and stuff, this is going to be mostly small little areas. So I'll be doing a lot of stopping, backing up, and turning around and all that stuff. It's not like a field where I can just keep the thing down the whole time. I'll be in woods and I need to do a lot of little turns. So I went with the motorized implement because it makes it that much easier. I got the disc, and then I got the added weight. I'm on the Spanish side, so I don't know what it says. <clears throat> I wasn't allowed to take Spanish because my English scores were too low. So it's called the Implement Weight Basket. If you don't know much about this system, it's a pretty easy setup. It just goes right into your hitch sleeve. This setup, you can get quite a few different implements for it. So. You got the base there, you got you can get a chisel plow, a disc harrow, or disc harrow, I don't know how to even say that. A landscape rake, looks like it's S-type cultivator, scrape blade, cultivator packer, and a plugger. Uh, I'm interested in the landscape rake for sure, and then I'm interested in the chisel plow, but that's also, that's mainly if this disc harrow doesn't work the way I want it to. Is it harrow or harrow? Let me know. The box showed up a little bit damaged as you can tell, but it doesn't look, there's a lot of, a lot of foam in here. So it doesn't look too bad. Nice thick foam, everything's in place. You got a box. It's your main area. I don't know what you call it yet. I'm sure they have names for it when we get in here. Actuator. It's a lot more heavy duty than the one I put on the rototiller. It does not look like it's going to break. All right, so here's the instructions. Forget those. No. <laughs> I actually like to read the instructions. Once again, I don't speak Spanish. First things first. So we got the actuator pinpoint. So it's this piece here. Both look exactly the same. So I'm assuming this one is the bottom one because in all the pictures, the black bore is facing upright. I brought my truck out here to put this up on my trailer, or on my tailgate, so I wouldn't have to do this sitting on the ground. So I'm gonna go move all this stuff to my truck. So now I got everything laid out on my truck. Not good. This is pretty much the gist of it for now. I got my directions down here. Now this is a really heavy duty actuator. First things first, you gotta connect these two pieces here this way, and then it is this way. Okay. And one of these, and the washer, one of these in the middle. Now, we connect this to these two. We have bolt, washer, whatever they call this thing. Some yeah, round, round flat thing. Why is this one so difficult? Got 
tighten these up. Three quarter inch. So the other thing I just realized, and I'm sure they say it on our website or wherever, I need a full size sleeve. So now I have to go buy a full size sleeve for my razor. I already got this open. I'm not gonna put it all back just so I can put it back in the box. But So I'm going by the instructions. You have this main thing here. I don't know, bar or whatever. You have one disc, you have a spacer. spacer, you got a bearing, you got a spacer, bearing, spacer, disc. Spacer. Disc. Spacer. Bearing. I think these are called bearings. Like I said, I'm not real smart on names and stuff. Spacer. Disc. Then the last spacer. And then I think this is the washer you use. No. And then you gotta tighten this. I got my grandpa's got a torque wrench in the garage, so I gotta get that. And that's it. So that's one. That was very simple. Real simple. We got a disc side. I says I'm supposed to put this on the ground. From there, force this on there. I can't tell. I think that's how it goes. It looks like they go on one side and you just slide it over. So you put that on there and then we'll bolt this on here. And that's a wrap for this. And these should all just go right in place after that first one goes in because it's lined up perfectly. You don't need a washer for these. Um, let's flip around to the other side, easy access. So we'll lock those down. Take a second to do that. I'll be right back. So that was pretty easy. I do, I'm gonna show you something here that I, I actually gotta redo the first one. I messed it up. Um, not real bad, just in the order that I did it, I did the order right, but in the center one here, it's a big spacer. And what you gotta do is you gotta have the there's a, a big, there's like a big washer that's welded to the spacer on both sides. And one's small, one's big. So you gotta have the big one lined up. So the big one is on one side and the small one's on the other. And so on the first one, I had that middle spacer flipped around. So we got two small ones and two big ones lined up. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but I'm sure that, you know, once you get in the field, there's gonna be a, a certain amount of pressure on those and if you just have two small ones or two big ones it's gonna mess up your disc or it, if it's not I don't know it I'm sure there's a reason they engineered it like that to have the bigger spacers or the bigger washers on the end so make sure that 
when you're doing this, if, if you are doing this, make sure that you see that the right size washer, I know it's not a washer because it's welded on there, but it's just that's the only way I can really describe it. Uh, but the larger plate or washer is at the beginning of every single one. Uh, I gotta redo that first one, it sucks because uh, the one thing I will say is, uh, I'm sure you can probably find one, but none of my ratchets uh, will fit in between the disc and onto this bolt. So you gotta use, like I said, I mean, you might have one that's smaller or thinner, uh, but you gotta use a regular wrench. So it's not that big a deal, it just takes a little bit more time. I wanna put the lift on the razor, and then I'll lift it up, and then I'll put these discs on there, and make it a lot easier than trying to um, put it all together now so I'm just gonna put this back so this is gonna be it's gonna be one video but basically you'll probably see me tomorrow or in the next couple days I don't need this for a week or I don't need this for a couple weeks so uh, when I get back out here I'll, I'll, I'll finish it but that's it for now I'll see you in a few days in a second It's been a month since I started this video. The house has kind of taken over, but I'm out here today. I have the black bore set up on the razor. So I had to put a new sleeve on it. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I feel like the sleeve would be the one that goes around it, but whatever, you know, goes around the hitch. Anybody that's looking to buy this package, if you have a one and a half inch sleeve, the most ORVs come with. So most like ATVs, UTVs, etc. have their one and a half inch sleeve. If you do have that, you're going to need to upgrade to a two inch sleeve. Now, this is a 2015 Razor. I found the prices for the conversion anywhere from I think 60 is what I paid for this one, all the way up to $100. This one actually, even though it was the least expensive, had like a steel. So that's the one I went with, plus it was the cheapest. But it's real easy bolt on. You got uh, two bolts to bolt to the mainframe. And then one you just put through. You got another bolt that goes just through this hole, which is equivalent to this hole in the one and a half inch. So now I have to raise it up. So I have to hook up the electric real quick. I'm just going to do a temporary hookup. I'm not going to do a full hookup where I put everything through the body and so on. So you got the connector that connects two. The actuator, I keep calling it oscillator, it's the actuator. And then this one here uh, is the fuse, and then this goes. Now this is made to hook to a handlebar. I'm hooking it up to the Razor's Ocean bar, and that should work for now. Anyway, so I need to lift it up so I can put the discs on there, and then once I put the discs on there, uh, we'll give it a test run, maybe today. I'm already behind schedule, I've been working on the house all day. Flip these around. Ooh. And then I gotta look at the chart. I think I want it going the other way. So it shows you different ways to put it. This is the recommended one right here. Can't really see it because this light's coming through. But that's the direction I'm going to go. This one right here, recommended setup. To turn this out. Mm. So on the outside, it's going to be the middle holes. And you just take, so you take this down here, put this in here, and then the washers, and then the nut. So if I just put my hands on the nut, I know, somebody's gonna say something. All right, so then now, Four inches in is what it says. Good, four inches. Four -ish inches. All right, so I gotta go get a wrench. We'll tighten this down. I'll do the other side and then maybe we'll give it a test run real quick. I don't have any blocks here, so we're just gonna try it without the weight basket. Uh, they're at my house. I have a bunch left over from when we did our basement. So I'll grab a couple of those. And, but we'll just test it out, see how well it works without the weights. 
but it has been very dry this year so the ground is going to be probably pretty hard so if this can get down into the ground uh, without any rain then we're probably going to have some success uh, when we get to the up because that ground is very hard i'm still going to take the weights anyway but it's just a point so this is just a three quarter inch nut still baby crank I got it hooked up, sitting a little low. I'm gonna pull it out real quick. I don't know, it's still gonna work, don't get me wrong. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to drive it five miles through the grade up north. So as you see, it sits really low. You need to tighten up those springs in the back, I think it's part of it. My suspension is all the way up. So I think I'm gonna have to crank those down, put a lot more tension on them and then it'll help out quite a bit. So, I mean, it's pretty much touching the ground right now. So I forgot to take you with me, but it doesn't cut through grass very well without, I mean, I don't know how well it's gonna do with the extra weight, but I'm sure, I mean, those things weigh 45 pounds, so it's probably an extra 90 pounds you're gonna put on there. So an extra 90 pounds plus the pressure of the actuator, it's probably gonna help you out quite a bit. This is what I planted last year, uh, and it's just a clover mix. As you see, I mean, it really came up this year. It looks really good. I'm really excited about it. So if I just keep going back and forth on this, it'll do all right. And then I think with the added weight of the, the bricks, will do really well. But you see, this dirt is super hard. I mean, it hasn't rained here in weeks. And it still was able to pull, dig it a little bit, dig it a little deep. You know, it did all right. Like I said, I'm gonna wait till a good rain comes in, till it, and then I'll probably plant some more perennial stuff, but then at the uh, I don't know, third or fourth week of July is when I'll really get in here and plant some turnips and radishes. Uh, we're going to go up to the UP and we're going to plant them early again this year, but it's such a far trip that um, we don't really have a choice. You know, it's not like we can just keep going back and forth there. I mean, it's every trip is three or four hundred dollars just to get there and back. And then you got food and you know, so it's, it's not cheap to get there. And, you know, we didn't see any deer last year after all that work we did. So the soil's super hard. So not, I knew it wasn't gonna cut in real good, but it, it did okay. I mean, honestly, with the circle I was able to make, that's probably, it probably cut about half the amount of ground that I cut last year with the rototiller up north in an eighth of the time. So it does work. I just really hope it rains. So we'll see. I don't, you know, I don't know. The box helped, my block broke, so then my strap came off and so on. But then the other issue I have is I can't get it off the ground high enough to travel with it, so I modified it. Blackboard makes a bracket to go on your suspension to 
keep it stiffer. So I think once I raise, once I tighten my suspension and I think I'm gonna buy it, it's pretty inexpensive. So I think I'm gonna buy that, put that on there. That'll tighten that up, but then also I'll show you what else I did. Side here. It's the best thing about those little box extensions. It's like those for the straps. And I put it to the other side. I mean, it'll it'll take a lot of work. I'm just really hoping we get some rain or it's a little wetter up there. And then I got to figure out how to get this more weight on the disc. It's not that really. It doesn't need more weight. I just I think I'm gonna have to put like a little blanket in there that makes it so those blocks aren't vibrating so much or I get some solid blocks. I'll be doing a lot more work with this blackboard disc setup. So I mean if if you're interested in getting one I can try to answer questions. I don't do technical questions because I don't know technical stuff. So I really don't know what to say at this point. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't, really, I don't really know what to say. I. I don't know. So I mean, obviously, you can see it. It literally broke the sleeve, the one and a half inch sleeve. It broke the bolt, it broke the old sleeve, and then it, it broke the new adapter sleeve that I have on it. Hopefully Grandpa's still got his bobcat, because I don't know how I'm going to get that back. I'm going to have to clean it out, there's some mud up in there, but it doesn't look like that's a piece that I can just replace. I think it's, I think that's part of the frame. It's hard, to, it's kind of hard to tell but I don't think I'm going to be able to replace that. So it means basically I have a, a disc I can do nothing with right now. I guess the razor is not made for farming. I don't know, you'd think it would, you'd think it would be fine. Um, obviously not.